Hello sports fans, it's Irish Bear 76 coming to you from Indiana. Um, it's freezing <laughs> here, we're having a huge winter storm. Um, so wherever you are in the world, just know that you would probably be much more miserable here. Tomorrow is February 10th, um, pretty exciting day for me, I'm going to get to be on the radio. Um, hopefully, unless something's <laughs> happened I don't know about. Uh, it'll be at noon Pacific time in the U.S., which is where I'm at uh, in Indiana. That's 3 p.m. And uh, the further east, it would be later uh, in the day because the sun rises in the east. Anyway, um, I had to f <laughs> MS has totally ruined my brain because I was sitting there thinking, okay, the sun comes up in the east, so uh, it would be earlier here so when it's noon there it's like already like three you know I, I couldn't wrap my mind around it it was like switching to daylight savings i'm always like forward or backward you know anyway um so i have this radio interview tomorrow which is really exciting but i'm i'm not can't get as excited about that because i know that buffalo is publishing their their results from their clinical trials tomorrow and they're going to come public and i just know it's going to be promising um they haven't been the best at, whole, at keeping the secret, you know, that uh, they found the correlation between MS and CCSVI. They're seeing what Zamboni saw, and um, the cat's out of the bag. They can't unlearn about CCSVI now. Um, and all, all of us MSers have been very pivotal in uh, getting the word out and making people look into this. Because I'm telling you. It's made perfect sense from the beginning. It, it can be reconciled to anything. Uh, any, any hypothesis can be reconciled back to uh, the drainage veins in the brain. So um, it's pretty cool. Uh, there are some vocal opponents to this theory like, uh, I'm not even gonna say their names, but we know who they are because I'm not giving them any publicity. But it seems like a few um, People have dedicated their lives to uh, attacking Zambonia on a personal level, which makes me think that their interests must be heavily in, into pharmaceuticals. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm not going to let them ruin uh, my mood because uh, there's a workshop going on up in Canada right now. Zamboni's, I mean, Canadian TV's exploding with the news reports. I even heard a rumor that... <laughs> They'll be talking about CCSVI in the States on uh, ABC. I'll believe it when I see it, um, hopefully. Um, getting the word out has been very hard. Uh, no one wants to listen about it. Um, but once these, these clinical trials are done and once this uh, data gets published and, and spoken of, academia will have to accept it, neurology will have to accept it. And it, it's, a, it's a dawning of a new day. And with MS and the beginning of the end of MS um, so yeah so, so it's hard for me to get too psyched up about this radio interview but I do want you know you guys to call um, be the perfect chance to talk to me when when we take calls um, if you can get on the program it's it's on www.kvmr.org um, it's a, a John Fletcher will be hosting the program it's rabble rousing and uh, it's basically um, a one-hour program with uh, uh, limited commercial interruption. I mean, it's a, they're, not, they're not known for commercials. It's more of a community radio. But it's broadcast um, on, the, on the net, so it's available worldwide. So, yeah, I mean, check it out. It'll be, uh, like I said, in Indiana, it'll be 3 p.m. Uh, in California, it'll be noon Pacific time, so... I look forward to doing this and talking more about CCSVI and uh, Dr. Zamboni and the liberation procedure and uh, our veins are going to get liberated very soon because things are moving much faster than I could have ever dreamed. The funny thing about it is I don't think that the North American CCSVI society will beat having clinical trials in your area. The time it, it, it's going to take to build a non, not-for-profit, um, unless I join forces with, with Joan Beal and maybe just like set up a Midwest chapter um, to, to build it from scratch, from the, from the ground up, I honestly think clinical trials won't be available in our area 
um, before we can even build the society, and that's the best case scenario. And if no one ever mentions Irish Bear 76 again, and it's all about, because it's always been about Zamboni, it's not about me. It's always been about just getting the word out, and the words are getting out. So maybe I may, maybe some early retirement for me uh, from the whole YouTube thing, at least with CCSVI. And uh, man, the way things look, we may not even have MS to, you know, how, how would our lives change if, you know, this leads to curing MS? How, how is our life going to change? Because, you know, we've spent so much time talking about multiple sclerosis and dealing with it and how it affects our family. When we actually get our lives back, a huge part of our lives right now is dealing with it and sharing with other people when it's cured, and it will be someday. I, I think about that sometimes. It's... MS doesn't define us, but it's definitely a part of, of who we are. And w if we do ever get cured, that part of us will be gone. So, uh, thank God. But anyway, that was just a thought I had. So just a reminder, I'm probably going to go over my time because I can't shut up. It's www.kdmr.org. It's uh, at noon Pacific time tomorrow, February 10th. So um, if you want me to mention your group, um, any site or whatever, please leave a comment, leave a comment with whatever, and I'll mention you on the radio program. So God bless you, and uh, um, it's exciting times, guys. It's exciting times. So we did it. All right, bye.